Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a speed build as you can see and I'm sorry some of my videos have been released late lately. I usually re release them a bit more earlier in the afternoon of my time but I've been kind of behind with making videos so I do apologize but this one I really had fun with. It is a bit different style than my usual like any type of build, home builds, etc. because I do use the debug apartment like public room and hidden room little like features that they have when that came with late night and i turned this into townhomes as you can see here there will be three extra ones and i did test this so it does work and if something does arise where there's some kind of malfunction with roommates all you have to do is go to your sims phone and click turn off roommate system and then they won't have roommates pop up because that's happened before i think it's just like a glitch that happens sometimes but it, you can turn it off and it works perfectly fine your sims can live in their portion and the rest will be blocked off and then other random npcs will still live there and they can like call them out to talk and stuff so i do only put the regular mailbox i don't know if i actually didn't test this part because i didn't i didn't play to see if they get mail but i think it should still function with the regular mailbox i do also put a call box so people can call them like to call them to their certain unit and stuff but i use a regular mailbox because i think it still works i think it's just like more that the other ones are for a certain purpose um to make it look more like the city as an apartment building so i think it just still function properly but yeah these are townhomes and i kind of made a similar build actually through the sims 4 and um this that was when the you know for rent pack was coming out that you know that pack that disastrous broken pack that i was actually excited for and then completely almost corrupted my entire save file and then i stopped playing the game ever since but i digress so um this is kind of a similar style to that they're sort of like beach homes they could be like californian um town homes or something like that so i kind of went for this really like pastel color now mind you i do have a lighting mod so the other purple on the end might look a little more gray than it is purple right now but if you don't have a lighting mod it might look a little more purple because it's supposed to be like a lilac color but i think due to the lighting and it was kind of like a certain time of day in the game it made it look a little bit more grayish purple but it still looks cute in my opinion i really like it and i do alter and like change a little bit here you see i did a paint different but i really enjoyed making this it is a two bedroom home it's a 1.5 bathroom it took me a little bit to get the layout so you will see me kind of like maneuvering the walls and stuff like that because i didn't like how it looked but it does also have a little back office um there's a there's a patio thing on the one the, one of the bedrooms in the front you can see there i actually put a little easel so it is a functional space so the sim can go out there i think and they can paint if they want to and then they have a little backyard space that's their own i do also put stuff there i change where those stairs are because i don't like how they look and um, i want it to be as functional as possible but because it is a pretty pretty tight space for sims to walk and stuff for some of the areas so i tried to make it as routable of course as possible because i want everything to be usable it's not just for show but um yeah so i had to actually alter and like push back that wall by one tile just because it wasn't letting the door go there but i think it i think it it works well it came out nice and um i do think i keep it as a regular home you could change it to an apartment style but i figure what makes more sense is to like maybe um i mean it is quite expensive when you purchase it as a home at first so what i do is i put i do the free real estate cheat when i go to move the sim in and then um then they just like have their, I guess their daily, another daily, their like weekly bills. But I think if you turn into an apartment complex, like lot type, then they would pay rent. So you could do it either or, I guess, you know, but since they're, I don't know. I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess with that part too much and then ruin the entire build. So um, yeah, I don't know. But I do also those little gate things. I was originally going to put a basement in this, but I couldn't it was too much it, i couldn't be bothered to try to get it to work properly for how i wanted it to look so i left it um it's just like a little open space i put like a little bike rack there so it could be where like you know your sims if they have extra if they have kids or if they have other bikes let's say they have like a like a moped scooter you know they go biking and stuff they could keep their stuff there if they want to but i do eventually i don't show it on camera you won't see it on camera so you like you only see it in the photos so stay tuned for the photos at the end if you want to see the final look of this but I do put a little kind of like open 
car parking spot for this house only only specifically only this house just because this is the only one that's going to be functional that you can move into and the space is pretty it's pretty tight because this is only a 30 by 20 lot so i didn't have as much more space for you know like driveways and stuff like that so it's not completely realistic because you know of course every other house would have one too but it's whatever you know so they um i'm doing the kitchen here it is a pretty small space but it's definitely functional i mean you have the sink there you just can't have a sim open the fridge and use the sink at the same time since you're in that little corner but um it's still functional it's a three-seater little kitchen top table there so you know you can have a nice little dining space it is still quite spacious when they walk in so you know they have space to move around i liked having the stairs in that little nook there in the corner i think it's kind of cute and cozy and it's like kind of hidden away so it's not like kind of like a weird space where just random spiral stairs you know what i mean so i think that looked good and that on the left hand side is the half bathroom so there will be just like a toilet and a sink in there i think i only show doing this bathroom and that's it i do change the color palette of that bathroom to more of a coral color i don't know if i show that on camera though because i am i changed my mind like way later on but yeah i'm just doing a little bit of sprucing up for the kitchen and i think that this is kind of a cozy space like you know this is maybe for people who you know they live more in a not a suburb but maybe near the city near a metropolitan area but they live a bit more where they have to drive to get there you know what i mean and um if rent is pretty high <laughs> or something or maybe they've had this home for a while and you know they live here and they build up a family maybe or maybe you do have roommates because there is two bedrooms here and i made one of them only as one bed and i did set it up for like a kid or a teenager but you could always change that of course and that's the room that has the little balcony on the top part so that's where the easel is and then then there's a master like big bedroom you know with the double bed and that one i even put like a treadmill in that one i think too like there's a bit of space in it the, the top floor is pretty spacious and the big bathroom is pretty spacious as well it has a full like bath slash shower combo you know so I will note, I do use these blinds because I needed to use them in this house. Like, I just, it, the look was not complete without these blinds, in my opinion, and I could not part with them. So, I do use two store objects yet again in this build. I use these blinds. I don't remember what, what set they're from, so I do apologize. If you have them, that's great. If not, it's probably going to replace it with some random curtain that might look ridiculous. I don't know. You could always just delete the curtains and just leave them open and put, get more sunlight in the house, you know? But... Uh, yeah, I was doing the living room here. I do put a little bit of decoration and stuff too. I put some like paintings and things and the rug here to kind of spruce up the area. And then I also put a little like shelf with some decor on it. Now for the shelving, the one thing that's annoying with The Sims 3 that I always didn't like is that there's not a lot of objects to put on shelves. And they gave you like three shelves total with all the expansion packs that are empty that you could put stuff on like that was the most annoying thing i think about this game <laughs> um so i use this shelf and i do use one store object that's the other one is that boat there so if you don't have that boat there is another boat that comes with i think either generations or it's either generations or um the university pack but it doesn't face the same way which is why i didn't use it otherwise i would have because it faces the opposite way so you only see the side like the the front part of the boat inside the side of it where you see like the sail so i prefer how this looked so i did that but yeah so i was just finishing up the living room here making some finishing touches i made sure to put um like a smoke alarm and that you know the burglar alarm because you know when your sims tend to have nicer things you tend to you know attract a burglar <laughs> but um this is the bathroom i was saying so i do change the color scheme eventually i don't know if i show it on camera i cannot remember we'll see in just a moment if i do but like i said i do more of a coral color because i thought this beige was kind of bland and i didn't like how it was looking anymore and that's like the, that's like the original swatch that this yeah there we go okay i do show it so it's a bit more pinkish coral i thought it just made it look a little bit better and then this is the back office here there's going to be two desks in this house actually so this one will be the office space where i will put a desktop like a pc computer there will also be a little reading nook in the other end of this room so you have like a little bookcase and a little seating area they could sit there and read one could do play chess video games work from home you know and then the um other desk will be in the other kids room with a single bed so that way if they have homework they'll probably be prompted i mean they could do it at the kitchen table but they could be prompted to do their homework at their desk in their bedroom you know what i mean so they have like their own quiet space so the upstairs bedroom for the kids room or for like that single bedroom it is a quite an interesting shape it's kind of like a weird like um square c shape 
um, I can't really explain it or like half of a of a square, but it still works. Yeah, here it is. It still works. I think it worked out pretty well actually. It's just because I needed the door there for the terrace part, but it still works because it kind of breaks up the space, and then you have this separate little reading area or like the desk space and stuff. So I feel like it kind of worked anyway. I really like this. I really like this color. Um like palette here i really like lilac and light green for some reason i think it looks really cute it kind of gives me a bit more fairy vibes cottage core maybe something of the like and i felt like that goes really well with either a kid or a teen's room this could be either or i do set it up so it's maybe it could be for a kid but it also could be for a teenager too and i put this is a little desk space that i put here i think i turn it around the other way so there's more walking space i can't remember but i never really use this little wall picture thing with the hearts um, from I think it's generations it could be university I get confused sometimes because they're kind of like the same color icon but um yeah so I use that little dresser I think from ambitions and then um I kind of just spruce it up to make it look like it's really lived in of course like kids you know teens they make their rooms a bit messy they're always in their rooms their favorite space to be so you know they're always like throwing things places and stuff I like these rugs a lot too I use them sometimes and I like kind of mix and match different colors and they're like different versions thrown on top of each other so I do that here and I go with like the purple and green you know that goes with the wallpaper and here what I said I do like the little easel there so that's just a very basic simple space there I don't do it for of course any of the other ones and there i was removing the um the basement you could always make a basement um that little space with the actual like gate right here in front actually if you put you could put a staircase towards like the more end of the like the corner of it and it does work but i didn't like how it looked which is why i decided to not do it and i couldn't be bothered to do all the ev elevation cheats for the flooring and stuff because this was already such a, a lot to build and i didn't really know if i wanted to do it and then mess up the build and stuff so um, yeah, you can you can always alter that if you wanted to, but I do spruce up the outside landscaping to put a bit of, you know, trees and um, shrubbery and, you know, make it look like they do a bit of landscaping and stuff like that. I always like to add a little bit of, um, like, I put, like, the, the dirt paint and then I'll kind of erase a bit just to make it look natural, like there's some dirt, you know, around the grass and stuff like that. And I love these sunflowers, they looked really cute. So I thought they looked good with because the house that you live in on this lot is yellow too, so I thought it looked kind of good with that, it was cute. And, um, yeah, I put some lighting and stuff and I don't show it, I think, on camera, but I do eventually put the what's that called the random not random the public and the hidden room markers so that way it is like kind of blocked out so you will see because one thing i don't like is that with the neighbors houses they do look kind of like blacked out completely so it looks a bit interesting if you kind of look through their windows you know what i mean but it's something that i'm used to with the sims if you play the sims 3 a lot especially with late night you'll know you, you always see that on the other end if there's apartments on the next area like on the same floor as them so i'm used to that so i don't really care but i just wanted to note that because you will see it in the pictures it might look it might look weird if you're not used to it i don't know but yeah so i stick with like this sort of like sunshine theme of yellow and orange i put a little bee box there because i figured you know maybe they make Maybe they make their own local honey. You know what I mean? Maybe this person, especially if you have some food mods, like I have a mod that does different types of ingredients and makes like food um, cooking and shopping and stuff a bit more realistic. So, you know, if you want to make like a Greek salad or make honey and apple dessert, because I have some of those recipes with the mod that I have, um, you know, you, they make their own local sourced honey and they can use that for their recipes i think things like that are really cute so i went with that um anyway i almost forgot to do this bedroom i almost hit save and ended the video and i forgot this bedroom was freaking here because i have been building for so long and i was taking my sweet time with the other bedroom i was like okay i'm done i was like oh wait the other bedroom so here i am doing this one I actually really like this sort of darker blue color and i liked the bedding and that was kind of my main inspiration so i did completely change this wallpaper and now it stays as this like navy blue color i think it looks really pretty and um i do spruce it up a bit with some like just little 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 trinkets and things like that i do remove i think that picture frame because i just didn't like how it was looking and it's a really weird picture frame from the master suite stuff pack because it takes up so much counter space that it can only plop into a full like tile space it can't do like the little corners like other pieces do like how like let's say that like alarm clock does so it has to take up that entire space it's very needy <laughs> so i remove it but 
I add some paintings. I think I removed that picture, but I add a couple of other ones. But anyway, um, I do a little bit here. I think I'm almost done with this actually. So I think I'm going to end the video now. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good one. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Enjoy the slideshow and take care.